Hey guys, my name is Lindsay. I'm one of the recruiting coaches here at NCSA. As a former Division I coach and a former Division I athlete, today I'm going to be talking to you about what are the things that we're looking for when we're seeing video of potential Division I attacking midfielders, okay? So a um, couple of attributes that I want to see straight away, okay? Attacking midfielders are creative players. They sit in the midfield. They're great distributors, okay? Um, but they also can have an ability to score, right? We want to see that you have both range and also that technical ability to play balls in behind for other folks. We want to see good pace. We want to see an ability to separate with our movement to create space on the ball, okay? Um, I'm going to show you a clip here of a student athlete who is a tremendous attacking midfielder um, and caught a lot of attention from a lot of diff different Division One coaches. So as we start out here, she actually opens up with a great opportunity to get in behind and finish past this goalkeeper. She makes some counter movement to get back into that midfield. And then as she receives, turns, runs, and gets in behind to score. Okay, so that's a wonderful opening clip whenever you're an attacking player. Start with the goals. As we roll into this next clip, we see her running 1v1 to beat some players, getting end line, and then distributing for an, a goal. So now we've got not just a goal, but also that ability to showcase, I can give my head up, I can read the play, and identify who's the more dangerous option. In this clip, we get to see her running at a player 1v1. Again, I told you, creativity. Creativity is going to be a really crucial part when we're talking about that attacking mid in that college game. The other thing I really love about this clip is she actually gets to showcase her ability to deal with physical play. One of the things that changes the most from the youth game to the college game is the physicality. We've got to showcase the ability to deal with a big, strong holding mid that's going to kick you up in the air if you don't move quick enough, right? So she showcases an ability to hold that player off, get in behind, and still under pressure have the, the, the calm of mind to put that ball in behind with good pace. In this clip here, what I really like about this clip is that we get to see her win the ball defensively, okay? And then transition into the attack to score a goal. Now, this sounds like a silly thing to put into an attacking player's video, but coaches want to see your ability to read play, defend, win the ball, and transition, right? They want to see you get your head up, recognize when you can step to win it, and go to goal. Because if you can win the ball back in the attacking third, you're going to make it really tough to play against you guys. Okay, so I think this is a great clip to be adding into a highlight video. This play here I really love because we see her engagement and staying involved in the play. So we've got some combination play, recognizes where the space is, shows her confidence going 1v1, and then does a tremendous job of creating a strong attacking chance slash goal, right? So this was a great example of what an attacking midfielder's video can look like and really catch the attention of D Division One coaches. So she showcases her pace, okay? She showcases an ability to run at players 1v1. She showcases an ability to play other people in behind, even when she's in tight spaces and under pressure. And of course, she showcases a great ability to finish, right? So um, these are all great attributes that we want to see in a Division One highlight. So if you think you have these attributes, uh, we'd love to see your video. Take a look and give you a feel for where we see you fitting.